Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Planet Cobot. My name is James and today we're going to be looking at another build for the LEGO Mindstorms robot inventor kit, Charlie. Charlie is an awesome little bot and is possibly the most varied of all the designs that come with the LEGO Mindstorm software. Charlie currently has 10 different design activities that you can build, code and play with. In today's video, I'm going to talk through the coding for two of Charlie's modes, the ski board and the crazy shopper. Afterwards, I'm going to walk through step by step how to write your own custom code to add remote control to the crazy shopper build. I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, the ski board code is pretty simple. Charlie simply attaches on top of a wheeled board. His arms are the only parts that actually move. They move backwards and forwards to drag Charlie across the surface. The code starts with a few decorative choices. We set the light, the orientation and the animation for the smart brick. We then choose a red calibration brick for Charlie. The next step is to set the motor speed for the arms, in this case motor B and motor F. Motor B is working at minus 100% speed and motor F is working at 100% speed. Remember, the motors are facing different directions, so we use reverse speed to make them go the same way. A repeat block is then used to make the next part of code repeat itself six times over. Motors B and F are going to move their shortest path to position zero. This basically resets the arms to the same position each time. Motors B and F are then going to run forwards for 85 degrees. Remember that motor B is working in reverse, so it is actually going to go backwards, which is what we want in this case. Once the motors have completed their movement for 85 degrees, the code will then repeat itself and then will reset to zero, starting the process again. After it's finished, the motors will go back to zero for a final time and the like sound is played. All right, so now we're gonna look at the crazy shopper code. We're going to be editing this later on to add remote control to it, so it's really useful for us to understand exactly how it actually works. The crazy shopper has two parts of coding. The first part moves Charlie's wheels, making him go forwards, and the second part moves the arms to make Charlie shake the trolley. To start off with, we're just gonna add a little bit of light, orientation, and animation instruction for the smart brick. These are all optional, but they do add a little bit of character to Charlie. The next step is to use pink movement motors to specify which motors on Charlie are controlling his movement. In this case, it's motor A and motor E. The movement speed has been set to 70%. Although this is quite quick, I did have to slow it down for the filming because Charlie was zipping across the camera very, very quickly. Afterwards, two blue movement blocks are going to be used to set the motor speed for motors B and F. These control Charlie's arms. You may have noticed that motor F is set to minus 40%. That's so the motors move the same direction. One's facing backwards and one's facing forwards. The movement control for this program is actually really, really simple. A pink movement brick facing forward for 100 centimeters is all that's used. Charlie literally just goes one meter forwards. There's nothing else to it. Afterwards, a sound is played and the animation starts blinking. Running at the same time of this is a second code stack which makes Charlie shake the trolley. As you can see, it starts off with him waiting a second and then playing a silly animation. We then use a repeat block which has motors B and F run backwards and then forwards for 0.3 and then 0.2 seconds respectively. This makes Charlie move his arms up and move his arms down to push the trolley around. Okay, so that was a really quick insight into how the coding for Charlie works with the Crazy Shopper program. We're now going to edit this code to add remote controls so that you can move Charlie wherever you want to. We're also going to make it so that he will shake the trolley when we command him to, rather than at random intervals. As you can see from the video footage, this new version of the code adds a lot more to Charlie's control. We can move him in all four directions and shake the trolley whenever you want to. Okay, so as always, my first step is just a little bit of housekeeping. First of all, I want to choose which control method I'm going to be using. I'm going for the on-screen controls because I'm programming this using an iPad. 
However, you can also use the Xbox or PlayStation controls as well. It doesn't make a huge difference for the coding. My second step is just to add all of the extra extension controls. As you can see, all of mine have already been added, but if they haven't, you will want to add those on. The first block I'm going to pick here is a red Charlie calibration block, which I'm going to put right at the top of the code. Now, I'm going to be keeping a little bit of this stack, but I am going to be removing all of the parts which actually tell Charlie what to do. Remember, the movement for the crazy shopper is very, very simple. Instead, I'm going to be using a forever block to use instructions to tell Charlie how to move in all four directions. A red Charlie remote control block is placed inside the forever block and then green joystick controls are used to specify the X and the Y axis. I found that the joystick on the virtual controller works better than the D-pad for this. Okay, now for the next step, I've actually deleted the code stack which controls the arms because I wanted to split it into two separate parts. Here I'm specifying that motors B and F which control the arms should reset to position zero at the beginning of the code. The final part is now to actually write the code to make Charlie shake the trolley. For this, I'm going to be using the B1 button, which is the little button I placed next to my joystick on my virtual remote control. Now for this, I'm going to be specifying that motors B and F are going to work at the same time. They're going to move anti-clockwise first of all, and then they're going to move clockwise afterwards. In terms of the distance, I'm selecting 0.3 seconds for both directions, which is slightly different to the original code. In testing, I found this just worked out better. Previously, Charlie was moving a little bit more in one direction than the other, and this meant that the arms and the trolley were starting to run underneath Charlie the more I used it, which obviously isn't what we want. The final step is to add a sound for Charlie after he has made his arm movements. In this case, I have chosen the yippee sound. Make sure that after you add the sound, you then do select it in the drop down menu. Congratulations. If you followed all the code, you should now have a fully remote control crazy shopping Charlie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching. <music>